Hello and welcome to another episode of the Shaver Ranch Plus Wolves. Say hello to Pancake. What? What do you have to say? Did Mr. Jacob make a mistake? Maybe. <laughs> I haven't done a video in a while, so I figured I would update you with a little bit of a mistake. I am still young and I'm still learning. And uh, I don't know if this would necessarily be called a mistake or just following instructions. <laughs> but uh, the instructions stated to do it a certain way. I did it that way and it didn't wind up working out. So what happened was the bench for the picnic table actually busted. Right, right here. See? So the legs are here, like you see here. And... They just, we, something that, I, I wasn't here when it happened, but um, it just split. So, instead of doing it where it's only having the foundation on one side, I am going to replicate this on that side. And I'm going to have it on each side, just like that. And um, another thing that I think happened was um, it's out in the sun on top of our deck in the backyard, and the sun had just baked it to the extent that all of the moisture wicked out of it, and the wood shrunk so much that it actually made all of my deck screws loose. And the way to alleviate this, as my father has already stated, was to use wood glue on it. The only reason I shied away from using wood glue is because it was one extra step, and I'm usually rushed in my projects, so... I just didn't want to do it, and I pre-drill all of my holes, so I didn't want to get the drill bit all glued up and nasty, so I just avoided it, but it appears as though it probably was bad. But, as you can see, that drawing also caused a dramatic amount of checkering in my wood, which means this is where my screws are, right here. And I think that was another mistake, is that I put all my screws on a flat plane, if I were to have offset my screws a little, then I think that it would have uh, been a little bit more sturdy. So I think I'll be doing that for this next part. But I'm going to unscrew all these and tighten them up because there's some screws I can't access with the legs on. So I'm going to unscrew the legs, um, tighten those up, and then go from there. So that is the update, and what I'm going to use, since it doesn't really show from when you're, you know, looking at it when it's upright, I'm just going to use this stuff here. I'm going to use this um, treated, pressure treated wood, and I think it'll do a lot better. I think it won't checker as badly. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to sand it or stain it or anything. I'm just going to leave it the way it is because it's already pressure treated. It doesn't need to be protected. And it doesn't necessarily need to look good because it's underneath. So, and another good thing, I'm sure many people already know, but I learned from an old timer and I figured I'd spread the knowledge. Um, when you're making all of your marks for your cuts, make sure that you put an X on the wood that you're not going to use. That way, you put the kerf of the saw blade on that side, and then you get your exact dimensions the way you wanted. You think I updated them good enough, Pancake? Hey, you. Did I do it? All right. I'll show you when the project is finished. And another thing that you should do, uh, just working uh, smarter, not harder, is that if you already have a template out, don't try to come up with all these measurements again, like measuring the thickness of the 2x4, oops, measuring the thickness of the 2x4 in order to find the 45 degree angle you're looking for. Just use a template. Right there, see? And you hold it with one hand and you, you make your mark there. And then it's all nice and it's all even. It's all perfect. Yeah. Oh, and a little quick update. I also got the OSV ripped for my sawhorses. I just have to get that on. I still have a companion. If anyone ever wonders what the kerf of a saw blade is, that is the kerf of a saw blade. These were clamped down perfectly, they have not moved, and I cut through. That is the thickness of a saw blade, the kerf. One more quick tip. We save our sawdust for our gardens here in the Shaver Ranch, 
but with pressure treated wood you cannot. The chemicals that they use are not good for the soil or for the plants. Another quick tip, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a knot there. If you could avoid knots, if at all possible, avoid them. Get rid of them by cutting them out of your scrap wood. Knots are just a weak point. You can imagine that nothing even exists there, it's just air. Case in point, knots equals air. Ah, nice to have it done. Now I just have to assemble. Still on my cat. After all that sawing. <laughs> Here's that cat that completely ignores all the power tools. Always there. You know, I actually think that she's deaf. She can't really hear anything. Hi. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I will be doing that tomorrow, so I'll come back.